Greetings, Jedi Knights, Padawan. Hello, you upstanding citizens of the Galactic Empire. I'm Jan, and today I made some novelty Jedi holocrons. Trust me, they're not real. They're not real, I swear. Welcome back, guys. Now, these holocrons are a variation I made from a model I found on Thingiverse by designer Bad Kitty, who in turn had taken this panel shape from another user, Hambone211. Now, the model by Bad Kitty is a fair deal bigger than this, doesn't really fit in your hand, and it was designed to work with a 9 volt battery and LEDs that you solder in yourself. But when looking at these on Thingiverse, I also ran across a Sith holocron by designer M. Kotsamanes, I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, but I'm trying. And this thing was simplicity itself. It actually all slots in together. The tops, you don't need to glue them or anything. You won't be able to see it probably here, but there's some really nice engraving of the Sith designs. And I'll link this in the description. So if you're inclined to the dark side, you can go ahead and print one of these for yourself as well. But the main point I want to draw your attention to in this model is the bottom. M. Kotsumane is designed this tea light holder and you don't need to do any soldering you just grab one of those cheap little tea lights put it in there and it works beautifully so what i wanted to do for my jedi holocrons was the same thing i wanted to scale it down just a little so it fits in the hand like it should it's down to 80 millimeters per side all the other panels are the same but then i added a tea light to the base and i'm going to show you how that was done now as angus over and makers muse is always saying it's better to start your design on paper and only then go into the CAD software. So what I did was take a few measurements with my calipers and I ended up with a sketch. And this sketch I translated into Fusion 360 and it looks like this. But let's start from the beginning to get a better idea on how this is made. To begin with, since we're creating a rather symmetrical shape, let's begin with the center rectangle tool from the sketch menu. Hit the center point or the origin and write in 80 and 80 millimeters from our sketch. Create another one and this time 74 and 74 from our sketch. And then let's start doing the circles. So we'll choose the center diameter circle and start with 36 millimeters. It should be not 38 as I'm doing here. And then 45. And a third one for that outside diameter. And there we are. And then we'll need some lines. And since we have this handy 45 degree angle marker here, let's just follow that to create these lines so that our tea light holder can have a bit of flex to it. It's also rather handy to have the hole wide enough so that you can pull out the tea light if it happens to fall inside the holocron. Going up, we need the part that holds the holder. This part wasn't detailed in my original sketch at all. So just going with my gut here. And this can be, let's say, 75 degrees. And then repeat on the other side, make it thick enough so that it's gonna be sturdy, but not too thick to waste material. And this should be 105. I'm doing it at 115 because I have no idea what I'm doing. So that's it, we're basically done with the shape now. Time to start extruding all the parts that we want, which are the holder for the tea light and obviously the body of the base itself and it's going to be in two levels we want this this and this for the main parts and then just extrude it out to seven millimeters which is the height that we want the part to be and then turn on the sketch take the last part the outside and extrude that out to 2.8 millimeters and then for that final bit of magic we'll go to modify chamfer select all four sides and then push that down all the way 
and that way we don't even need to figure out some of those angles. Everything just happens as it should. And then all we do is export, select the model, hit OK. And here we are in Simplify 3D. The model looks fine. It's a bit lonely on the print bed, so let's print another part with it. And let's print the top so that then we can print the four wall pieces together as a separate print. There we are. And this is ready for print, so just hit prepare to print and let's go. Now that we have all our parts printed out, we've got the base, we've got the top, we've got two types of side panels, we've got the inserts, and then the non-printed part, our little tea light. It's time for final assembly. So first things first, let's turn on our tea light, slot it in to the base, and you can see our tolerances have been quite good. It sticks in there, it's not going to come out at all. What's actually helpful here is that little bit of elephant's footing that you sometimes get with FDM printing that actually gives it a bit of a lip that holds it in place even more. But that's sturdy, that's good, let's keep going. Next step, we take our inserts and we put them in the side panels and the top. Now with the side panels there's two types. There's these ones with the larger teeth and these ones with the smaller teeth and that's so that they mate up and hold together. Now, when you're actually doing the final assembly, you might want to use a bit of glue to hold everything in place, but the tolerances on these parts are actually pretty good and we should be just fine for this demonstration. The original design actually called for some colored plexiglass for these inserts, but I haven't been able to find any for a reasonable price, so I just decided to print them. Obviously, if you're going to be painting this model, you want to paint and maybe even weather finish the whole thing first before applying these parts. And that's one of the reasons I'm not gluing this right now. I might be inspired to do some weathering to this at some point. It's a lot easier doing everything separate than trying to mask all these fine details and trying not to get paint on your lenses. But, roof on. and we have the finished product. Perfect. Well, that's all from us and even Stinker over there for this time. If you enjoyed this video, please do give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and if you're not already subscribed, please do subscribe to my channel for more videos just like this. I'm Jan, this has been Today I Made, and may the fourth be with you always.